Hello everyone, it's Justine. Welcome to Stationery by Justine, where when I craft, the world stands still, hence the word stationery. And I hope that that doesn't come off as anything but what I mean it as, which is basically when I'm crafting, I just kind of forget about literally everything else. And hopefully some other people can relate to that and understand what I am saying by that but that's why I named my channel and my business stationary by Justine not stationary as in card making it's kind of a nod to you know I'm stationary at my desk sitting down making cards and the world is literally standing still when I am making cards if you ask me because I just am in the zone if you will <laughs> Anyway, today I am going to make one really fun card using the Pocket Full of Spring Stitch Die of the Month from Spellbinders for February. If you have not heard, yes, there is a Stitch Die of the Month from Spellbinders, and this one is called Pocket Full of Spring, hence the pocket. And there's also a add-on for the Stitch Die, which is called Pocket Full of Spring Sentiments. So the happy birthday one comes with the die that is um, pocket full of spring. And then if you wanted to add on a gift for you, hello friend, thanks a bunch, or thinking of you, those are options as well. Now I have a lot of stitching videos on my channel. I have a few where I'm making flowers and um, stems already, so I did not go through how I stitch all of these items but if you have questions on how I stitch please ask me in the comments below I am going to show you how I do how I'm going to be finishing up this little area of stitching on the jean pocket so if you're interested in that stay tuned otherwise if you're not interested in watching how I stitch that part and just want to know how I'm assembling this card I will put a timestamp on the video right here that will show you what time to skip to in the video so you don't have to watch the stitching if you don't feel like it. Anyway, I like to use this tape <laughs> from Spellbinders. It's just double-sided adhesive for stitching. I like to use it for holding string down especially the metallic thread i'm using the metallic dmc thread this one is d3821 i picked up this and a couple other metallics from the spellbinders website which i was just tickled pink about because i just love using metallics on my cards anyway and the fact that i can now use them more on my stitch cards was just exciting for me. I have used the gold before and this is just easier because it's already three strands and I don't have to separate anything which is just awesome. So like I usually do three thread, three thread stitching. I am going to be doing three thread stretching, <laughs> three thread stitching today. So I'm going to be doing, I think it is it kind of makes a loop. I think it's called the back stitch. So I'm going to be making little uh, stitches as I go here. So I'll just start from the back and then I'll show you. I'm going to go to the next open hole. Hopefully you can see. So then there is a gap there, but I'm going to stitch going back one and that completes the look. And then I'm going up the next one, pulling it tight going down the next just like that going skipping to the next one going down and pulling with the metallic thread I noticed that does have more of a bounce to the thread less of a, a stick like the cotton thread is a bit more of a stick it's not as slippery but that's just fine so as I'm finishing up the stitching on this pocket, I will just say how much I love stitching. It's been 
such a fun journey this last year of really just stitching a whole bunch of different projects. So if you're an avid stitcher and have not checked out the playlist that I have on my channel, um, I will just link it. I'll just put a card maybe on the screen. It should be right about here on the screen. And you can go ahead and check that out later if you want. But I have all of the cards that I've ever made with stitching on YouTube. I put them right there and you'll just be able to stitch with me. Maybe put that on and have it in the background and we can stitch together. How fun would that be? <laughs> anyway, let me know in the comments if you have tried stitching before or maybe you've been stitching for a whole bunch of months and just are excited about this new dye. I'd love to know. I just think these leaves are stunning. I love the way that the pattern is where you go on the outside and come to the inside. I know that sometimes people will stitch around the outside of leaves too and that just gives a whole different look. So that's kind of fun to think about and maybe perhaps try in the future. I guess we shall see. But for a flower layout, now that I am finished with the pocket, I will just think about things before I just start gluing, which is always kind of difficult for me to do because I just get so excited usually and glue, glue, glue. All right, I've come up with an arrangement that I like, so I'm just going to go ahead and start gluing things and kind of <laughs> hoping I can keep my position kind of the same as I go along. But I think that I kind of started off with too many stitched items. So if you look at the inspiration sheet that comes with this die set, they definitely used less stitched items than I did. And I think that their inspiration card is a little less crowded, which I like. So I don't know I guess I could take things off but I do like the colors that I used so maybe on the next card that I make with this die I will use just maybe a bit less stitched elements but it is definitely a full pocket so I guess that works for a pocket full of spring which is the, the name of the die so <laughs> I guess that works out so to glue on all my pieces, I basically just snuck my little glue bottle in the back and added a little glue and pressed down like this and let the glue kind of stick just a little bit. Now I want to put on some gems or something to the center of the flowers just to add a little bit of a kind of finishing for the flowers. And I'm going to use these pearls to finish them off. These pearls I got on Amazon like three years ago. I don't even remember how long ago, but if you look up on Amazon nail art gems, you will find them. I like them, but they are not adhesive. There's no adhesive on them. So if you want to put them on a project, you will need just a little glue, which is fine because I have plenty of barely art liquid glue which dries clear, so I am not concerned about any glue coming off the sides of my gems. Thank goodness for clear glue, especially Barely Art. <laughs> I love their brand. I'm gonna put one on here, even though it isn't the center of a flower, but it's where the center of the stitching comes together, and I think that it would look fine, like so. The flower really did mess with my brain a little bit <laughs> with this a little stitch piece. It it was very odd to stitch something so small with my little <laughs> my little needle and my nails. It was it was interesting to say the least. <laughs> anyway, um if you have any questions at all about stitching or die cutting or embossing folders whatever it might be related to card making just let me know in the comments i'd love to help you out and if you want to join that facebook group you can go ahead and click the link in the description and that will bring you right there and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and really just enjoy the last bit of winter here as we push through till spring
Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope to see you in my next video. The best way to do that is to subscribe to my channel. Then you will not miss any videos from me. Anyway, have a wonderful rest of your day. Toodles!